uh, hey there this is uh, the fourth video on uh, evangelism my experiences uh, outside with people and uh, one point is important for us like evangelism doesn't stop at uh, sharing the gospel there is uh, follow up no if you can um, get some contact detail like a phone number or email and to keep in touch and to talk and follow up and you can get the uh, those people to be connected with a bible study or a church uh, that that's uh, much better you know and uh, so that they can have constant fellowship constant receiving of word and prayer uh, people need fellowship people need a church to be connected with uh, so evangelism doesn't stop just by sharing but it needs to have a follow up and uh, and a connection it happens sometimes that some people may not uh, turn up some people may not may even give you a wrong phone number it's okay but maybe in 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 20 people in 10 people uh, who are receptive to you if if one comes to the church if one is turning up that's great you know uh so many times you you meet per, uh, a person uh who can say that he's a christian recently i met uh uh two two young guys uh in a in a street and uh one guy was not interested to hear at all but one one uh, the other guy was very interested so he stayed and he was uh, hearing seriously he told this that he's a christian so uh sometimes uh, we encounter we get to meet christians or catholics and and it doesn't mean that we should not talk or share anymore uh, just because they are christians because there are so many christians who don't know that jesus is the true way maybe there are so many christians who are just going to church or reading bible or praying just as a responsibility but not really having a a relationship with Christ and knowing Christ as the only Lord and Savior basically they are not born again so you need to ensure are they really born again if they sh- if they are saying Christians one simple way is you can just ask uh, uh, why do you think Jesus is true God or or uh, do you uh, where do you think you will go after death is it heaven heaven or hell what do you say and i've heard from many christians you know what they said if i if i do a lot of good thing good things good works i go to heaven uh it it basically they are saying salvation by works but bible doesn't say that it's only by faith and grace grace of god you know? and uh, so you will find many christians who are not born again who don't know really the gospel and why jesus is the true living god so even if you are encountering someone who is christian uh try to talk with them spend time with them and uh, give the tract for them to read and uh if if they are born again christian it's great you can have a a, a small time of fellowship together if if they are not born again you can you should share the gospel and uh and uh, they will be more than willing to pray pray for salvation with us and uh yeah yeah and the uh, second uh, i would like to share about one uh, or negative incident which happened recently like i was i was sharing the tracks sharing, sharing gospel with people and i went into a shop and uh, there was the owner and a person sitting um, it was a uh, this uh, for, uh what kind of mattress shop mattress and cot Uh, and other I- items made for si- furniture item shop and it was quite big and uh, i went and just gave to them that it says about god's love uh it was in a regional language and and uh, i gave and i came back after after half a minute the person the owner came, called me i was in the road he called me and he told what are you doing this is not uh, legal you cannot give these things to people and uh, your what you're doing is wrong and he tried to grab the tracks of me and to try to uh tear the tracks but but it didn't happen and 
he was basically trying to intimidate me and I, I just told I'm just sharing if if you don't have interest it's okay you can return back the track and uh, these things happen we need not uh, be uh, intimidated or fearful because there is God's protection you know whenever we go for evangelism <clears throat> God protects us through his angels and uh, we can just fully trust God and we can have some courage boldness uh, but anyway we need to be polite and God God will give wisdom what to talk we need not argue and we just uh, so I uh, I was just there and uh, I was he could see that I was not fearing or intimidated by what he is doing and uh, uh he just told don't do this if i see you again i will uh, i can do anything something like that and he went back uh we just prayed for those people to know the truth okay so this uh, you will get some experiences like that and the next <clears throat> next week i went to the same place and i was distributing tracks so uh so we need not fear uh, we need to be wise we need to be polite but uh god g- protects us and he gives us courage and boldness no? mm, and uh, the third experience i could share about uh, you know these times of easter and christmas you can really use them well uh i wanted to have uh, some sharing in my office with with my people in the, in my section and uh, christmas came christmas came and uh we did some small decorations the people in my section brought uh, bought a small christmas tree and uh, they were also involved and and uh, we had some cake and some items uh, uh, it is an opportunity to share the gospel maybe they, there are some people who haven't never heard the gospel so um, did one or two songs and just shared why we celebrate christmas in that we, we we put the gospel we share we share the gospel and we 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 tell the true meaning of christmas and uh, <clears throat> and uh, and that's it because it's a office atmosphere i just share the gospel and i just leave li- lift it to the people i gave some tracks pe- to people some bibles to people who are re- interested uh, and uh, i just prayed for them so uh i'm just thanking god that he gave that opportunity and uh, in the place we work in our, in our neighborhoods the places we are, we uh, we go and come uh, we can pray for opportunities and in times of some functions or easter or christmas or we can i think we should really use these opportunities and just to share share christ Uh, people are more open in the in those times and and uh, maybe they are not uh, knowing the truth at that point of time but there will be a time in their life uh, they will remember okay this person shared about this truth who is jesus christ and may uh, maybe later in their life they will get to know and they may they may trust god will work amen amen